this episode of Nugget Garage, we've decided to take this pile of shit back out to the racetrack. Um, it's still the same, we haven't turboed it. We've just pulled the entire interior out. Scott's pretty much kicked the body kit off of it. Um, we've bolted the BT streets on the back that well, I've pinched off my van. Uh, we're starting to turn the tyres a little bit, trying to load it up to get it off the line. Now, now we've pulled a bit of weight out, probably will turn the tyres, trying to stall it up. Um, so we've got these on there now, so we uh, might be able to get a couple more RPM off the line. Um, so we'll see how we go with it anyway. It's stinking hot. Um, might even rain, so hopefully we'll get out there in time and get a couple of runs in before the rain comes. Um, if not, then uh, we'll just have to wait. There's only about two weeks until the actual event where uh, the, the challenge, which is the 13s for 1300 challenge. Uh, we're going to call this one 14s for 400 um, because it's still only a $400 car and hopefully we'll dip it into the 14s. I don't know if we will, probably come down to a 15.1, maybe a 15A, you never know, might go into the 14s, who knows. But we'll get out there and give it a crack, uh, see how it goes, God only knows. Hopefully the rods don't come out before the turbo goes on, that'd suck. Would you look at that? We've made it out to Willow Bank. Um, we're probably a couple of hundred kilo lighter. Rain hasn't come, so we'll get a couple of laps in. Uh, we'll see how we go. I'm hoping for a 14.9, but I'm not sure it'll do it. Um, pretty much whatever I run, Scott's going to try and run better, but I'll try and hold him off. All right, well, there's not much water on there. I don't know if this thing's actually going to be able to do a skid, but I'll try and embarrass myself. No, it can't. It can't do it. Does not have enough power. I I think I got off a little bit early because it was hideous inside here. Oh, oh it was horrible. <laughs> See how we go. I definitely want a 14. But tyres definitely grip, that's a bonus. So I we'll go around and give it another hit and see how we go. Scott'll want to jump in and have a go and try and beat my time. I don't know. I don't know if our adding weight's gonna be any better for the race times, but uh, we'll see I guess. Alright, well and 15.6. It's actually one tenth slower than the PB from uh, Scott last time. I don't know if maybe because of the bigger tyres, um, maybe the gearing's out, maybe the exhaust. We did take the exhaust off uh, just before the first muffler. It's still got the cat, but 
Um, we also took the air box out. So I don't know if that's what's doing it. But I'll give it another hit and see what happens. Hopefully, hopefully we'll go a bit better this time. I'm actually going to change gears a little bit earlier this time. See if that doesn't help. Probably spin it around to about 5500. It's probably not loving it. So might change it about 40, 47, just under five or something, see how it goes. Might be out of its power range up there. So we'll see how we see how we go with that idea. Other than that, 2.4 second 60. Good thing we spent money coming here, isn't it? I'm not even gonna bother trying to do a skid this time. These things are pretty pretty sticky, so I don't know if there's gonna be any any actual point. Let's see how we go this time. Let's see what this thing actually stalls up to. Two won't go any more than two grand. Needed a skid. sucked it actually turned the tires off the line because it didn't do a skid so she's going slower mate does that mean i'm a better driver than you 180 kilos less weight not with you in the car it ain't This is the last attempt I've got before Scott gets to have a run. I'm going to do a skid this time. Well, I'm not sure it's an actual skid, but we're trying. typical nugget fashion we've gone and made it slower with less weight so we put a taller radial tire on the back of it and it's apparently not a good idea with a car with no horsepower so all I can really do is try and run the same ET or less as what Chris has run which was 1575 but the car's been getting slower all night so I don't like my chances in performance mode. One performance. Thank <laughs> you. 
Barra Power, bro. She's singing. Barra Power. <laughs> Dino, it's not cutting it. Slower. Oh, 90 down, two mile an hour, too. I think I manged it too hard. Hey? I think I manged it a bit hard. <laughs> you too much mang. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it's trying to stall. <laughs> Slower. Yeah, it's repeatable. 16 oh, you're down 2 mile an hour too. Going 90. Woo. Yeah, right. I'll put it on the trailer. What's that? You, what's that? I'm faster than you tonight? Yeah, you are. Oh, I have rec that, that recorded. On the trailer. Done. Oh shit, mate. I had it on flash, so you probably had yours on first. What time did you get up this morning? About six. Oh, yeah, you win. Again? No, exactly. That's twice today. Yes. <laughs> That's recording. Okay. So are these. I had the most heat soaked car though. Alright, well. That's about all we're going to get out of this heap of shit tonight. Um, we did two gonna... things wrong. Chris decided to ditch the airbox. Thought it would be less weight. And he's made it into a hot air intake. Can't blame you 60, you know, and on the way to the I car. I decided mate. to put a set Sorry. of two inch taller diameter tyres on the back because that's all we had, and that's just destroyed our gearing. Yeah, so, so it's a bit of a fail. We're starting to make gone. a bit of a habit of this failing stuff. So. <laughs> We're going slower. Did go 15.6, but it went 15.5 with all the weight and yeah. more stuff. It so. is a hot night, it does have hot air intake. It is, it is hot. I it's think it'll be right. Stinking hot, so. So we'll take it back to the workshop now and. Um, Start on the turbo stuff. We've got about two weeks, so yeah, that's right. I don't need a Should be right. Of nights. Maybe pull some more weight out of it. Maybe we'll see if we can steal some T three fives from somewhere. Just add some boost. Add more boost. You can't add boost. It's a BA. Add boost yeah. and take it away. <laughs> so, all right, that's all yeah. we're getting out of it. So we're off. Um. Jesus! Don't have to worry about lowering it anymore, just got to sit your fat ass The spring there. is obviously saved on the side. <laughs> Scott's been itching to pull a couple of bits off and tidy it up and make it look a bit nicer. Yeah, I can actually um, do it. So, he's... He, he, doesn't, he, he doesn't like those bits. All those bits. Well, obviously, to get it into the, into the 13s... Well, you, you look, I can't do it. Just can't do it. Phil, I'm gonna get an air hacksaw. I'm gonna cut that first. Just leave it. It's fine. Oh, it's fucked up. <laughs> it's the whole thing's fucked up. Look at it. Ah, oh, do stuff. You're not gonna be able to let this. What are you doing now? I'm gonna hold it off. What am I in the bargain? <laughs> Built Ford tough, mate. All right, all right, maybe it is. Wow. Must be aftermarket part. <sighs> so much better. It's better than six.